Hello everybody, this uh, this video I'm going to show you how I heat my 12 by 8 greenhouse over the sp uh, winter and spring months. Now this 12 by 8 greenhouse I heat using a wood burning um, wood burning stove. Um, this is a wood burning stove with a back boiler used to have in the houses. Um, this is actually a park ray. Now how this works is, it's a, it's a standard wood burning stove, but these wood burning stoves have got a jacket on the inside it's a water jacket so what happens is obviously you have a fire on the inside here and um, the water that is inside the jacket heats up and then when this is installed into the house you don't get to see none of these bits if i come inside here as you can see this is the back section there are two joints on this side and there's two joints on the other side as well now what would happen is the water would come from the main tank it would come in at the top and then it will go out of the bottom pipes um, into the radiators. Now, these kind of fires can heat up 12, about 12 radiators um, in a normal standard house. But what I've done here is I have fabricated um, a heating system for this greenhouse. So as you can see, I've got scaffold pipe. Now, these scaffold pipe these can be screwed straight into the tank itself, but I wanted to have a curve on, a bend on. You can get um, proper pipe work, but what I've used, I've used what I've had available, and I've used car, um, this car radiator pipe. Um, I do believe it's 36 mil, I believe. Um, so I've got one at the top and one at the bottom. The other side, I've got it capped off, so it's not... The water can't get up that side. So at the moment, the, there is water inside of this tank and also water inside of these pipes. I've done the top and bottom for a reason. Um, so the top goes all the way along the back. So does the bottom. I've got them held up at the moment temporarily by bricks um, at the right height. And it basically goes all the way under. Move that away. All the way under these benches here. All the way to the back. Underneath that side. And if we go under here, you can see, it comes underneath here, all the way down there, underneath this bench, and into the tank, which is there in the corner. So if I just stand up here, as you can see, so it's on this side, in this corner. So there's the tank there. This is a 47 kilogram gas bottle, um, which is the top, the top's been chopped off from there. And I got this off a friend actually, it's really, really handy. It's, it has um, basically been knocked flat here at the top. It's been knocked flat here at this side as well. And there's been a flange put on, um, it's bolted on as well with some pipes on the outside so we can connect these pipes up to this tank. Now the top pipe rises into the tank and the bottom pipe goes down. So the water, when it gets hot, the water comes all the way around here, starts getting warm at the top, starts going around in circles, till it gets to the bottom, and then it gets pushed through the bottom pipe by gravity. Um, so it's constantly going round in a circle. So the water is always going back to the tank, back to the fire. It's going all the way back, round there, all the way around, till it gets back to the fire itself, and then get warmed back through again, pushed, through the top pipe all the way around and it just continuously go, goes through there this is pretty much exactly what happens on the radiators in house and this happen this reworks really, really well the, the benefit here is i've got a fire on this side so that also keeps this section warm and in my greenhouse here i did build a partition which i've not got currently put up at the minute uh, the door and everything's still not here so um i can heat that side of the greenhouse better uh, more than the back side here so um i can start things off in here a lot earlier and if i want them to be a little bit cooler i can put them in the back so it's really good now the top of the pipe here i have right like, this is just a, a standard uh, log if i have wood burning fan so this generates heat and it gets turned by the heat and sits on top of your fire that is for push the hot air underneath the bench to help anyways and um, what i've done is because obviously hot air rises i've kept i'm getting some um plastic here 
and just built a skirt so that the heat just generates underneath the bench itself. Um, this is a damper. Close the pipe for the airflow. Open the pipe for the airflow. I did originally just have this as the air, sort the air out, but this is going to be much better for this coming season. Now, last year, um, it was very, I was down here twice a day because i um, just dialing it in basically. The, uh, the, the I'll use wood to start off and then I use uh, coal afterwards as well. Um, the coal I get from a local distributor. Um, it cost me around about two to three hundred pounds um, over the course of a six month period for to keep the greenhouse heated um, to where I wanted it to. And like I say, I was down here twice a day. Um, that will change this year because I'm hoping to just come down once per day. Realistically, if I have this fire banked up correct, I should only have to come down once. Um, this is an old school method. Um, a lot of the old old gardeners do it for um, more precise temperature um, throughout the greenhouse. People are moving on to gas with obviously um, regulated uh, regulators and stuff. Um, but for me, I like doing things old school. I got inspired by my granddad, um, who's got one of these systems in his AP6. And what he does is he's got three AP6s next to each other. He's got the fire in the middle one, and all he does is take the glass out the sides, and that heats all three greenhouses, which is fantastic. But yeah, this is my heating system. It took me a lot of attempts to try and get it to where it is at the moment. Um, fingers crossed I've got it uh, right this year. Um, and uh, let's see, it's all prepared now for the coming growing season. So thanks for watching. See you all next time.